Hey guys, I hope you all are doing good. So finally, my green architecture course from Algonquin College is over. Yes, it took a lot of effort for it. Uh, I was really busy for past two weeks because of this, and I wasn't able to upload any video. I am sorry for that, but I was really, really, really busy. But anyways, now this course is over, and this video is about my final verdict and my final review about this course and how this course. help me to understand sustainable architecture better i will be talking about all these things so guys try watching this video till the end and for the people who are here on my channel for the first time my name is saransh singh and i keep making such videos on very regular basis plus if you are here on my channel for the first time you should go and watch my sem 1 review for green architecture and sem 2 review for green architecture i have done a detailed review about each and every subjects what all subjects are there and how much will it cost etc etc so try watching those videos before you watch this video this video is the final conclusion for everything so guys without any delays let's get started with the video so i will be talking about general points in the beginning so first point is like people have asked me in my dms and in the comment section also is this course helpful so from my perspective this course is really really helpful to understand the architecture that goes around in canada and especially the sustainable architecture that you can build in canada and the potential of sustainability in terms of you know cold weather scenarios so this course is really helpful for the people who are willing to practice their architecture in canada or any other cold regions around the world so that is my first point about this course my next point is is this course easy uh many of the people have asked me can they do part time can they work like you know or two shifts so my answer is no this course is not at all easy it will give you a glimpse of our final year architecture sometimes because there is so much to do that you just fall short of time you have to do overtime and like overtime in terms of assignments not in terms of work but uh, yeah you have to work a lot a lot harder i was doing two shifts at two different places i was working as a security and i was working in my college also so totally i was working around 32 hours a week plus i was doing all my assignments that means that i was working way much more than you know what a regular student would work which who has just one job or no job so make your mind accordingly don't think that this course is easy i will go and i will just kill it it's not that because no matter how good you are there are some things that you need to learn that you need to focus on and that you need to understand better so yeah you have to work hard for this course that's my final verdict going ahead uh, people were asking that is this course co-op so there is no co-op existent plus in the bim life cycle management that was my previous course before this uh there was again no co-op offered because of the covid and plus the people who were here in that course uh before covid there was no co-op offered so that is a very big minus point of having no co-op because finding a job is a really tough scenario i am in that process right now of finding a job even with 3 years of experience and uh, with two uh, courses over here it is a bit difficult to get replies from the uh, architecture firms so think about it and uh, it's not bad you will get a job it's not like you won't get a job or anything but you have to prepare yourself like okay for a month or something i might not get a job so think about it and prepare yourself before coming here and one more comment that i have read in my comment section a lot of time that uh, can non architects opt for this course uh, so as far as i know especially for green architecture you can't so majority like almost 100% of the students that are in my class are architects so it is not 
uh, open for the other streams but beam life cycle management course which was my previous course is open for civil engineer electrical engineer even i think so mechanical engineers are there in that course so you can go ahead and opt for that and one more question that i keep getting in my comment section is uh, i'm a civil engineer or an electronic engineer can i do masters of architecture so my answer is guys no because it is very clearly written on all the university sites that you should have four years of bachelor degrees in architecture or equivalent if it's five years is better but if it's lower than four years if you have a diploma in architecture you might not get into those college so like you know focus on these small details and you will find the answers but um, I don't know like it is it is a sad thing but uh, this is the truth you can't opt for masters of architecture you need a bachelor's of architecture to pursue masters of architecture so guys coming to the next and the most important point of this video that what all things i have learned from this course so first of all i learned to do how to do an energy analysis how to build for especially for cold climate regions how to design passive house structure how to uh maintain the indoor air quality how to design walls there are so many different layers that goes into the walls over here to increase the thermal performance of these buildings so it was just an insane ride a lot to learn in a very short time that was one of the drawbacks also like there was too many things happening like you know every week we used to get like at least 3 to 4 assignments and it is to be very overwhelming like sometimes i used to uh, like you know uh, do the assignment first and then understand what was the concept of everything behind it and learn actually from it so it is a very assignment heavy uh, course so that was one of the drawbacks that i felt but all the architecture course all around the world i feel like because i have been speaking to many architects around the world they all have said like architecture is hectic they have too much things to do so it's not only me that keeps crying about architecture it's all the architects all around the world and yeah my cat is like meowing anyways um going ahead so yeah i have learned how to design the walls how to increase the thermal performance of the wall and uh, things like that so it was pretty interesting it was uh, enlightening but uh, yeah it is very hectic it can be easily like you know a year and a half long course or two years course or something because i think it is too compressed right now and it stresses the students too much so yeah if anyone from algonquin is watching this video take that into consideration you know you can extend this course make it a bit lighter encourage students to learn more and not just focus on submissions and assignments and overloading them still the overall course is fine uh, there are things that can be improved but overall it is a good course you guys can go ahead take this and one more very important thing i i'm sorry that i forgot about this uh, this is very important do this course only if you are interested in sustainable architecture or sustainable designing guys because it is not easy you will need interest to do all the assignments that we have over here so please take this course only if you are interested in sustainable architecture and not just for the sake of it because the thing is not only you will suffer the other people other classmate of yours can suffer because of this particular reason because you wouldn't be able to do your assignments and others will have to do your part of work so guys please take the courses that you are interested in and not just any course just for the name sake of it so guys my final verdict for this entire course will be like you can do it if you want to get into touch with you know starter pack of entire architecture scene of uh, canada like how structures are designed if you want to understand all these things 
uh, so this course is really good this course is meant for architects so i would suggest all the architects should only apply for this course if you are into some other stream go for building life cycle management uh, bim life cycle management so uh, yeah so my final verdict is it's a good course uh, things can be improved it can have a co-op it can have more employment options after this course it can streamline few of the subjects it can even increase the duration of this entire course uh, so obviously nothing in this world is perfect but uh, these are the drawbacks of this course too much assignment load too much to do in a very short period of time so take all these things into consideration and take this course by giving thought to each and every aspect that i have covered in this entire video and guys this was it for today's video i will try to be more regular with my content and usually i am regular but uh, from past two weeks as you know my finals were there i wasn't able to do anything anyways guys if this video was helpful for you go ahead hit a like and subscribe to my channel and guys if you need any kinds of help or if you have any kinds of queries or doubts you can mention it in the comment section and i will definitely try to solve your queries so guys take care of yourself and see you soon bye bye